really started to worry. My whole family knew about my addiction. It wasn't hard to see since I was never home. Mom? Colin. You're only hanging on by a thread. Your father and I are so Tear concerned. Down her cheek. He didn't want me to talk to you, but I just couldn't wait that long. <laughs> she began to cry. How small and frail she felt in my arms was devastating. I was only glad it was dark in the room lest she see my chalky fingernails and know where I'd been, but I'm sure she could smell it on me. I found myself a social outcast, realizing how alone I was around others in school. Don't All day I waited for that adrenaline rush. Even the small things around me in class would sidetrack my mind. All the other students would walk to their cars with their friends, but I would wait on the curb in front of the school, alone for Steve's car. Steve, a complete stranger to the public school system. He had dropped out of high school sophomore year and had been living in his car for 13 years now. Everyone saw potential in Steve when he was my age. He knew he was good, so he left school for students of unconventional dreams. He'd been all around the world experimenting with the different techniques, and now he was in my own town and saw potential in Most of my friends were older than me. They knew more about the process, kept me safe from the ground, got me higher each time. I'm sure you take the occasional fall, that only makes you want more, drives you for a better high. Each one of us would have a partner, keep us safe, monitor our every move until we came down, but then it was their turn. Steve was my partner, and he knew what he was doing. He was always relaxed, so honed, he could never take a fall, never had. One day, as I watched every muscle in his body convulse, he said the next day he could barely move, but wanted more. And I watched as he finally pushed himself over the edge, and one day he took the fall of his life. Steve died that day. He was in my hands, and then he was gone. I stopped cold turkey that day, and it ruined my life. Steve's ghost broke me. I wasn't happy and we knew it, but I didn't want to go back. It scared me. We were so young and had so much time ahead of us, but I was beginning to see there was no point living if you're dead. Steve died happy, and one day I hope I will too. He always said, if you're going to be addicted to something, 
you might as well make it good.